So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the left and the right cancellation law. So let me write left cancellation law. What is the left cancellation law says? The left cancellation law says that if a into x, a star x is equal to a star y, then I can cancel the a from the left side. And then I will conclude what x is equal to y. This is called as the left cancellation law means you can cancel the element a from the left side. Similarly, if I write down what is the right cancellation law, the right cancellation law will now be very easy. So again, I will say if x into a is x star a is equal to y star a, then again, I will cancel the a from the left from the right side and I will declare that x is equal to y. So these are two laws, which is first is left cancellation law and second is right cancellation law. Note that here I am nowhere saying that this is a group. Okay, but now we will prove a theorem that in a group, this left cancellation law and the right cancellation law will always be true. So what is the theorem I'm trying to tell you? The theorem is if G is a group, let me write G with the star is a group, then left cancellation law, I will write LCL, the left cancellation law always holds, means it is always true. So we can now use left cancellation and right cancellation law anywhere, whenever we come in the future. So here I will just prove the left cancellation law. The proof of the right cancellation law is similar to the left cancellation law. So let me write a very small proof, very simple proof here. So what is the left cancellation law says? Assume, assume that a star x is equal to a star y. Okay, and what I have to show, I have to show that x is equal to y. Very simple, okay? This is what the left cancellation law. See, I've written about the left cancellation law. It is saying that if this is given, means this is assumption a star x equal to a star y, then I must be able to prove that x is equal to y. That is what I have written here. Okay. Now, how will I show that x is equal to y? So I will start with the left hand side. What is the left hand side? The left hand side is uh, the left hand side is just x. Okay. When I write the left hand side is equal to x, what I will do is this x is actually equal to what identity star x because we are in a group. So any element x can also be written as what identity star x because e star x is always x. Now here this e I will replace by I hope everybody understands that we know that a star e is always equal to e star a and that is always equal to a. Okay, so now what I will do is this identity I'm going to replace by something different. This identity I'm going to replace by something like a star a dash. What is a and a dash? What are a and a dash? A is some element in the group and a dash is its inverse. So what is a star a dash? A star a dash is identity. But if a star a dash is identity, then a dash star a is also identity. So this E I will replace by what? This E I will replace by what? A dash star A. So A dash star A because element inverse into the element is always equal to what? Is always equal to identity. Where What is A? A is some element in G. Okay. So I will remove this now. Now I can use, uh, we are working in what? We are working in group, G is a group. So we can use associativity. So when I use associativity, I can write, I can write this as A dash star A star X, right? Which is equal to, but I have assumed somewhere that A star X is always equal to what? A star Y. So I'm going to replace this A star X by assumption. I can replace a star x by what? I can replace it by a star y. So that will become a dash 
star again i will write here a star y because it is by assumption again i will use associativity when i use associativity what will happen i can again change the fashion of the brackets and i will write it as a dash star a bracket y uh, sorry star y but what is a dash star a a dash is element inverse and a is an element so what is a dash into a we know that element inverse into the element is always equal to identity and this is equal to identity star y but what is identity star y who is e is the identity what is identity multiplied by any element the identity multiplied by any element is equal to the element itself and this will become my this will become my right hand side so when i look at my calculation now i understand that the left hand side is equal to right hand side means what have i concluded therefore i have concluded that x is equal to y right that is x is equal to y what was our assumption our assumption was that a star x is equal to a star y and you we have used that assumption in this step and i have started with the left hand side x and i have simplified not it is not actually simplified i have complexified and use associativity and again simplified and i have reached the right hand side very smartly okay so this is the way the left cancellation law is proved what was the left cancellation law i will repeat a star x equal to a star y will imply what will imply x equal to y this is the left cancellation law and what is the right cancellation law let me write here hence proved okay so we'll understand that the proof is over so and what is the right cancellation law if uh, x star a is equal to y star a then i can cancel a from the right side and therefore i will get again x is equal to y okay now we will prove a theorem which says that in a group g star the equation a star x equal to b a star x equal to b where what are a b and x where a b and x are in the group this equation has a unique solution so now we will prove this theorem so whenever you come across such a theorem you have a unique solution your first part of the theorem will be that such a solution exists so first is the existence part so we will first prove that this equation has solution we will first show that it always has a solution and in the second part we will show that it has a unique solution so what is the existence part so consider the equation a star x equal to b now what are a and b a, a is in the group and b is also in the group right since a is in group what do we know about a since a belongs to g a dash also belongs to g because in a group inverse always exists so a dash also belongs to g what is a dash a dash is the inverse of g and what is the property that it satisfies such that a dash star a will be identity and which will always be equal to a star a dash now if i look at that above equation i will just have a dash on the left hand side i will put a dash on the left hand side so a dash star a star x will be equal to a dash star b now i will use associativity because we are working in a group so this will become what a dash star a star x is equal to a dash star b but what is a dash star a we know that a dash star a is identity so this means that identity star x will be equal to a dash star b and therefore what is identity into x in a group identity into x is always equal to x is equal to a dash star b so the existence part is complete here so we have proved that that equation the equation a star x equal to b has this solution is the solution of 
the equation equation was what a star x equal to b now i have to be bit careful here when i write this when i write is the solution the word the stands for unique we have we proved that it is unique no so we will write instead of writing the solution we will write is a solution now we will prove the uniqueness part when i prove the uniqueness part at that time i will write that x equal to a dash b is the unique is the solution means it will be unique so now let us write the part 2 and what is part 2 part 2 is the uniqueness part so now we have to prove that this solution that we have obtained above this will be the unique solution of the given equation so how do you prove that a solution is unique so we will say that assume that the equation has two solutions so assume that equation a star x equal to b has two solutions has two solution so what are the two solutions so i will say so the first solution is suppose x1 and the second solution is x2 what do you mean by that x1 and x2 are solutions of this equation means x1 will also satisfy this equation and x2 will also satisfy this equation so hence a star x1 will also be equal to b and a star x2 will also be equal to b this is the meaning of the statement that we have x1 and x2 are the solutions of the equation ax equal to b but this if you see carefully this you will understand that this this means that this means that a star x1 is equal to b is equal to a star x2 i will ignore this b now and i will get a star x1 is equal to a star x2 okay now you can see that i can cancel this a on the left hand side by which theorem by the above theorem the above theorem says that left cancellation is always allowed in a group so by left cancellation law which we have proved above we can cancel a from the left side right and therefore what will we get we will get that x1 is equal to x2 and therefore what is uh, and therefore this is done right do you understand the proof is completed because we had assumed because we had assumed that uh, we have two solutions x1 and x2 and now we have proved that both the solutions are nothing but they are same so this means that this equation a star x equal to b has how many solutions it has now unique solution even if you assume two solutions after a while after your calculations you conclude that both the solutions must be the same and this is nothing but the equation a star x equal to b has unique solution therefore a star x equal to b has unique solution and what is that solution and that solution is x equal to a dash star b so this completes the proof of the theorem so this is the first objective which of the following are not groups the first option is complex numbers with respect to addition rational numbers with respect to multiplication integers with respect to addition and set of matrices with respect to multiplication